This is the Daymac New Yorker, and it's very similar to some of the other bikes I've seen. Ejo has one like this, Enzo bike. Um, I really like this style of folding electric bike because the battery is completely concealed inside the down tube, top tube thing here. And, uh, you know, the motor is relatively small and it kind of blends in with these nice black spokes. You've got this sort of sparkly black paint job. Uh, it's a cool bike. It's a cool bike for sure. Um, kind of only comes in this one size, but, uh, you know, the seat's adjustable up and down and there's this big step through area so you can easily approach the bike, that kind of thing. Um, you know, what I noticed that's a little bit different about this bike than some of the other folding ones is that, of course, it comes with these nice plastic fenders with mud flaps. You've got a rear rack and even a, kind of a, a bear, but in my experience, you sort of have to turn it on or off manually. Um, and you don't want to accidentally leave it on because the battery will die <laughs> and then you'll be left without lights and they are kind of independent both of them this one it has a button on the back and you can turn it on with the leds so it's nice that it has safety it's got some utility with the rack it's got the fenders there's no suspension here the seats a little bit a little bit harder you know the handlebar is adjustable up and down the seats adjustable up and down but this isn't something you'd want to ride like over extremely large distances uh, however they've done some good stuff in terms of like the gearing. See how there's this really big ring on the front and then just sort of a standard cassette in the rear. That bigger ring sort of slows down your cadence and that helps to offset the smaller wheel size. So these are 20 by 1.75 tires. Okay, so 20 inch versus 24, 26 or 700 C. And you do have seven gears to choose from. So climbing with this bike or trying to hit those top speeds of like 20 miles per hour, it's all possible. Now you're getting a fairly modest drive system here. This is only a 250 watt internally geared hub motor, but again, keeps a little bit lighter and it's not gonna drain the battery as quickly. Battery is the 36 volt, nine amp hour lithium ion, and it's inside this, this down tube, right? So you're gonna have to kind of unlock this and unfold it, pull out that battery if you wanna store it inside or, or whatever. Being a folding bike, it's nice that you could actually just bring the whole thing inside a little bit easier, maybe store it somewhere it's gonna be out, out of the uh, elements. Quick release on the front wheel. That was kind of nice, what I noticed. And 160 millimeter uh, mechanical disc brake on the front. And then we've got a standard V brake from Tektro on the rear. It's a decent combo, you know, and I tend to use both brakes um, when stopping for the best results. And they do have sort of these whooshing, kind of basic brake levers with the motor inhibitors there. So again, yeah, it'll cut, it'll cut power if you're in pedal assist mode. They do have a 12 magnet cadence sensor. I like that, it's a lot smoother. It picks up quicker and it stops quicker when you're pedaling. Some of the other bikes from Daymac I've noticed have like five magnet sensors and they just take a lot longer to start and to stop. This is a $14.99 bike, that's the price point. And Daymac has a bunch of stores in Canada and you know, a handful in the US, but they also ship. So it's like $200 to have this shipped in Canada or I think sometimes like 400 in the US. So that sort of negates the value proposition of it being a little bit more affordable, but I still think it's a decent bike. You know, it's especially if you're at a shop and you're checking it out, you've got kind of the metal version of the folding, folding pedals, a little bit stiffer, maybe more rugged, semi ergonomic grips. And then this display, I've, you know, I've had issues with it before where you look straight down and it's a little bit dim and then you come back to kind of at this angle and it's a lot more vivid. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're having trouble reading this, you could kind of tip it forward. Maybe when you turn it on by pressing that power button, you get your speed kind of current, which is like how much energy you're using assist, which can go kind of all the way down to like this flashing level, um, odometer and battery capacity and the highest level of assist is like this five bars right there. One of the other things I like that they, they've chosen to do is, is to have this little button here so you can completely disable the throttle so it doesn't work at all and you're not gonna accidentally, you know, go flying off the handles um, when you're lifting the bike or mounting it. But then when you're ready, if you wanna just start in, in, a, in a throttle mode, you press that button in and it goes and it overrides assist. So that's great. Like a lot of times I'll ride in a lower level of assist and then I'll use the throttle as a backup for more power. Whoop. There we go. Kind of hear a little bit of a humming going on back there. Fairly quiet. And that's just because it's a, you know, it's a relatively small motor. It's kind of a modest system that way. 
But I like to check these bikes out and just kind of compare and contrast. I think a lot of it might come down to whether or not you have a dealer nearby where you can actually hop on it and try it, see how your body fits. You can kind of see I'm on it, not quite fully extending my legs, so I could probably raise the seat a little bit more, but you know, the reach is decent. I'm kind of upright here, feeling fairly comfortable. I, I wouldn't mind commuting on something like this or having it on a boat or an RV. It's a, it's a good choice that way. And again, buying something like this versus one of the other brands, I think would come down to, do I have a shop nearby that's gonna be able to help me maintain it, do tune-ups? A lot of times I'll throw in some free tune-ups. The warranty, uh, again, you got the year on the, the frame and the, the motor, six months on everything else, including the battery and stuff. So it's it's kind of like an average warranty. Maybe it's, you know, it's it's moderate because some, some bikes, they sell like a year on everything. This one's like, you know, six months on the battery. It's like, meh, I guess that's okay. You can probably get a replacement. Daymax has been around since like the early 2000s. Um, they seem pretty solid in Canada. So yeah, that's the uh, New Yorker right here. It's their smaller folding electric bike for the full ride up on this and other folders. I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. Ride safe.